This is Pick 6 presented by KFAN. I'm Tatum Everett here inside TCO Studios as we gear up for the Vikings season opener at home against the Packers. This season, we'll bring you Pick 6 every other week. And this time around, we'll have media experts, Vikings legends, and even current coaches and players answer your fan questions. So let's get things going. We'll start with question one from Chris from Anoka, what are your year three expectations for Justin Jefferson? And this one, we're sending out to NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. Chris and Anoka, I would tell you this, Justin Jefferson already statistically is one of, if not the best receiver in the NFL. They've found ways to get him the football, even in an offense that's always been geared around Delvin Cook and the running game. With Kevin O'Connell coming in, the scheme's gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna find new ways to utilize him. We heard him speak recently about the fact that, well, he says that he's not particularly fond of money. He's going to get money, and a lot of it when he's eligible after this season. That's not the primary motivation for a guy like Justin Jefferson. He's one of the best competitors that's probably come through this building at that position since Randy Moss. I fully expect you're gonna see another big time Justin Jefferson season in 2022. Thanks, Tom. JJ had a strong camp and expects an even bigger year in this brand new offense. Let's get to question number two. Statsy wants to ask Brian O'Neill after battling Zadarius Smith in three years of border battles, how is it with him as a teammate instead of an opponent? Great question, Statsy. We caught up with Brian after practice. Having Zadarius as a teammate has been awesome. He brings the juice every day in practice. He likes to talk about what he sees after each rep, whether he saw what I did right or what I thought he did wrong. Um, definitely, you know, much happier he's on our team than the Packers. Brian has often said going up against Neil Hunter in practice every day only made him better. So you got to think having a guy like Z on the other sides made this whole line much better. Up next, we've got a question from Jason. In Maple Grove, what current player brings the same energy as you did as a Viking? Jason's question is pretty special. This is for Vikings legend Jared Allen. I can't wait to hear the answer to this one. Hey, Jason. Thanks for the question uh, about if I see anybody on the team now that has the same energy that I had. Uh, to be truthfully honest, I don't watch that many games anymore. Uh, so, but I do see guys that have a lot of talent. I think uh, Daniel Hunter, he can bring energy in a completely different way. Maybe it, he may, it may not be the outspokenness or the vote being boisterous or getting the crowd pumped up and really, you know, resonating that way. But the ability to make plays brings energy. That That's what gets the crowd on their feet. Having a big sack, having a big tackle for loss. His stature on the field, I think you just look at the way he's built, and I don't, I guess I don't really know him personally. I've had a very few conversations with him. Um, but his ability to wreck offenses, in my opinion, have, that, that's the type of energy that the team needs. That's what brings energy to the team. That's what brings energy to the fans. So he may not be as, as you know, charismatic as far as, you know, out there jumping around, hyping the crowd up, saying nonsense and stuff like that. But, um, his ability to make plays is, in my opinion, second to none. Of course, the Vikings induct Jared Allen into the Ring of Honor on October 30th at halftime during the Cardinals game. We've got question number four coming at us from Rudy Minnetonka. Thanks, Rudy, for your question. Without seeing any of our starters, how can Vikings, how can the Vikings walk out with a win against Green Bay? We thought this would be a great question for the voice of the Vikings. PA, take it away. Excellent question, Rudy. And um, I think two words are, are in play for that question. Unpredictability and deception. Because when everything is so new, offensively and defensively specifically, it's fair to say Green Bay has no idea what's coming, where the rush is coming from, and how the offense is gonna work. So by using unpredictability and deception with high-end players, that's how you beat Green Bay. Thank you, PA. Can't wait to hear you on the call when the Vikings kick off the season against the Packers on September 11th. Until then, let's get to question number five. Claire from Stillwater asks, who is your favorite Vikings offseason addition? Claire, we reached out to the NFL Network, Stacey Dales, and she's got your answer. Awesome question, Claire. I love it. I've actually got 
a couple. I've got a veteran edition, which is Zadarius Smith. I mean, I fell in love with Zadarius from a football standpoint when he was in Green Bay and, and became a Green Bay Packer. He's just infectious. His, his energy is infectious. His personality is infectious. He's actually got the t-shirt, uh, uh, meet me at the quarterback. That's a big thing for this group. So I think that's huge. And then Lewis Seen, the rookie out of Georgia, the safety, not just a strong safety, play free too. Love the kid, fell in love with him at the combine. And uh, those would be my two newest additions. Thanks for the question, Claire. Love those choices, Stacy. Especially excited to see Sidarius against his former team in that home opener. It's our last question of pick six, and it is coming to us from Gabby in Marshall. What should we expect, expect from Irv Smith Jr. week one? Gabby, we reached out to the Viking Entertainment Network's Gabe Henderson to answer your question. Gabby, appreciate the question. Irv Smith Jr., I expect the same thing we saw out of him at the end of the 2020 season. He was on fire, making catches, mismatches for opposing defenses, and I expect that week one against the Green Bay Packers. Any linebacker that lines up against him week one at U.S. Bank Stadium, I'm taking my chances on Irv Smith Jr. When you have Irv Smith Jr. out there, that opens up other opportunities for Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, K.J. Osborne, Dalvin Cook. Irv Smith Jr. will be a huge asset to this Minnesota Vikings team, not only week one, but for the rest of the 2022 season. Thanks, Gabe. And Irv even spoke this week saying they're still targeting that week one return after he underwent thumb surgery during training camp. Well, it is so close to that week one season opener and it's time to wrap up pick six. But as always, we encourage you to get more involved. Send us your questions. You can tweet me at Tatum Everett. We want you to be specific too. Who do you want to answer the questions? You want a media expert, a legend, current Vikings player or coach? It's your choosing. We'll do the best we can. Give us those questions through Twitter and maybe they'll end up in this show right here on pick six.